The Mirage opens a new window in the discussion of the phenomenon of political Islam in both the Arab and Muslim worlds. It addresses the idea of political mirage, resulting from the illusion marketed by religious political groups to many Arab and Muslim peoples, while exploiting the pure religion for political or personal interests and monopolizing the interpretation of religion. Indeed, many of them go as far as declaring their opponents infidel and killing them in violation of major religious foundations and principles based on centrism and moderation. As in his previous book, Prospects for the American Age, Sovereignty and Influence in the New World Order, in which he warned Arab countries against a lack of understanding of the dynamics of international relations in the age of globalization, and indicated the danger of the strategic interactions in the current historical moment, the author, Dr. Jamal Sanad al suedi is keen in his new book to ring alarm bells against the spread of extremism. At the same time, out of his concern for future generations, he provides a glimpse of hope by charting a safe passage away from the pitfalls of the road followed by political religious groups. The idea of the mirage crystallizes through an intellectual structure that passes through several stages, starting with the preface, followed by four parts comprising an introduction, seven chapters, and a conclusion. The preface addresses the significance of his choice of the mirage as the title of the book. He points to the existence of a clear resemblance between the state of millions in Arab and Muslim countries and the state of someone who has been exposed to the phenomenon of mirage in nature. He stresses that his scholarly vision put forward in this book has nothing to do with the faith and ideological description of the religious political groups. He addresses the subject using a scholarly approach to prove that bidding on those groups and the mirage are one and the same thing. The introduction provides a holistic vision of the subject Therein, the author portrays before the readers a clear paradox based on the existence of a wide gap separating Islam in its instinctive, centrist and balanced pattern and the reality that is characterized by an immense deal of rigorism, violence and manipulation, alongside other recurrent characteristics during periods of cultural decline and intellectual stagnation in the Arab and Muslim worlds. In Chapter 1, entitled Political Islam, Reality or Myth, the author attempts to present and discuss the principles and working mechanisms of the religious political groups as a loose current that uses religion to achieve political and personal purposes, considering that those groups, by the nature of their work, have always been seeking government or authority. The first section of the chapter focuses on the definition and characteristics of the phenomenon. The second section turns to analyzing the reasons for the spread of the political religious groups and the factors behind their continuation, benefiting from the ideological and societal mix-up in Arab and Muslim countries between religion and politics. The third section presents patterns of political Islamic thinking, demonstrations of its action, and the agendas of its factions. The fourth section focuses on the criticism directed to political religious groups and their thinking and performance in the countries where they managed to reach positions of authority. يجب أن تستغلوا ظاهرة إسلامية هذه الظاهرة الإسلامية تنقض قضية الدين من أساسها لأن الإسلام لم يعد مجمعا بل آل إلى أن يكون مفرقا فاستغلوا هذه الظاهرة في الإسلام الإسلام جاء الأول ليجمع in chapter 2, entitled Religion and Politics, 
historical relationship and continuous conflict, the author sheds light on the problem of mixing religion with politics, on which political religious groups concentrate, and puts it in historical context based on the development of societies as a criterion for its existence, absence or administration in the Western and Islamic worlds. It then moves to discuss the separation between religion and politics in the Western world and the combination of objective circumstances to end the control of the church over the state. In the second section, analysis is made of the reasons for mixing religion and politics in the Arab and Muslim worlds and the efforts of political religious groups to maintain that mixing. The third section analyzes how that mixing could instigate divisions between the same sects and in the wider community. Lastly, a contemporary alternative is put forward for a state that has managed to separate religion from its politics, although that religion is still present in institutions and the society. Sheikh Osama Ladin was in the Muslim community in the Arab Chapter 3, titled Political Religious Groups, the Muslim Brotherhood, deals with the history of the Muslim Brotherhood in terms of its birth, establishment and spread. It discusses the group's objectives, their means to achieve those targets, the group's thinking and methodology, their conception of the governing regime, their position regarding parties, shura and democracy, up to the point when it participated in politics and joined representative and legislative councils to identify the significance of that participation and the movement's governing pattern in this respect. The author notes that the ambitions of the Muslim Brotherhood to reach authority in the aftermath of the turmoil seen in some Arab countries in recent years represents the peak of political opportunism that is driven by interest rather than constants and principles. هذا الذي يحدث في سيناء ردا على هذا الانقلاب العسكري يتوقف في الثانية التي يعلن فيها العبد الفتاح السيسي أنه تراجع عن هذا الانقلاب وأنه صحح الوضع ورده إلى أهله وأن الرئيس يعود إلى سلطاته. Chapter 4 titled The Political Religious Groups The Salafis focuses on Salafi thinking and movements considering it an intellectually and ideologically influential religious current. It indicates that the Salafi groups agree among themselves with respect to certain matters, yet they disagree on fundamental subjects that divided them and made them stand at a distance from each other in terms of methodology, approach and objectives. The chapter presents the biographies of the leaders, imams of Salafi thinking and the experiences of this current in politics from 2011 to date in several Arab countries. It also mentions the criticisms being directed to Salafi thinking. In Chapter 5, titled Political Religious Groups, The Sororis, the book discusses the Sorori thinking one of the leading political religious trends that emerged and spread in the last two decades of the 20th century. The chapter addresses the defection by Muhammad Surah Zain al-Abidin from the Muslim Brotherhood and his attempt to reconcile what is organizational, inspired by the ideas of Syed Qutb, with what is ideological, based on the ideas of Ahmad ibn Taymiyyah. In Chapter 6, titled Political Religious Groups Jihadi Organizations, the book addresses the emergence and development of jihadi thinking. The chapter aims to study examples of extremist organizations. The first section of this chapter discusses Al-Qaeda organization in terms of its birth, development, ideology and relation with jihadi Salafism. The second chapter deals with the Islamic State organization, ISIL, in terms of birth, intellectual foundations, differences with Al-Qaeda, causes of those differences, ideology and impact. In Chapter 7, titled Public Opinion on Political Religious Groups, a survey of the UAE population, 
the author attempts to identify the views, trends and positions of the public with regard to the political religious groups. Important findings have been reached. Despite the religiosity of most of the respondents, they think that the clergy should not have any influence on government decisions. They also support separating religion from political life. The findings also revealed a lack of wide knowledge of political religious groups in general. The highest rates of knowledge were recorded for the Muslim Brotherhood, followed by the Salafis and Jihadi organizations, notably Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, ISIL. The majority of respondents think that the experience of those groups in government in some Arab countries was a failure, while very few think it was a success. The great majority of the sample think that those groups have less chances in political life in the Arab and Muslim worlds in the future. Finally, the author addresses the factors that led to the failure by political religious groups to efficiently govern, interact and align with the requirements of modernity and progress, particularly intellectual isolation and introversion, the non-allowance of the introduction of new ideas, or interacting with the experiences of modernity and scientific progress in the world, as well as fabricating lies in the name of God, failing to use the mind, and holding to concepts such as sovereignty, hakamiya, and other concepts promoted by the ideologues of political religious groups without having any basis in religious and jurisprudential texts.